Hi, fifth graders. I'm going to read you guys a story today. It is called The Very Bad Bunny by Marilyn Sadler. The Very Bad Bunny. PJ Funny Bunny did not mean to be bad, but sometimes he could not help it. One morning, he spilled pancake syrup all over the kitchen floor. His sister called him a bad bunny. PJ said he was sorry. He did not mean to spill the syrup. PJ did not mean to tangle up his brother's yo-yo either. Or cut up the newspaper before his father read it. They cut all these little bunnies in there. Or invite his friends to lunch without asking his mother. I am sorry, said PJ. But PJ's mother sent him to his room. That made PJ so angry, he threw his pillow out the window. This time, PJ did mean to be bad. The funny bunnies could not believe it. They had never seen such a bad bunny. And these are all his siblings. Then one day, PJ's little cousin, Binky, came to visit. Now be good bunnies and go out and play, said PJ's mother. So PJ and Binky ran out to play. But Binky was not a good bunny. He threw PJ's best ball into the lake. Oh no. Then he tossed PJ's cowboy hat into the tree and broke PJ's baseball bat. He even let go of PJ's balloon. Binky never once said he was sorry. Be nice, Binky, said PJ, or I will not play with you anymore. But Binky did not listen. He used PJ's crayons without asking and left them in the sun. I think PJ is starting to get a taste of his own medicine. Then he took the wheels off of PJ's bike. Binky's a very naughty bunny. That does it, said PJ. I'm taking you back to the house. But Binky was just as bad in the house. First, he glued all of PJ's checkers together. Then he ate the last cookie in the cookie jar. Look at PJ's brothers and sisters are seeing how bad Binky is. He painted bunnies all over the living room wall. He put his bubble gum on a chair. And he locked everyone out of the house. The funny bunnies could not believe it. They had never seen such a bad bunny. Finally, it was time for Binky to go home. Everyone was so happy to say goodbye to him. Now that is a very bad bunny, said PJ. And all the funny bunnies had to agree. The end. That was a really good story. What do Mr. McCollum and Mr. Ritchie have to say about this story? Great job reading that book, Mrs. Womack. Binky and PJ are both some very bad bunnies. Hey, fifth graders, what do you think you could learn from both Binky and PJ and their actions? What would you say the theme is of this story? Great reading, Miss Womack, and I agree with Mr. Ritchie. What is the theme? Remember, a theme is a life lesson or a moral of a story. 
And when you give a theme, you must have three key details to support your answer. What we want you to do again is to go on to Class Dojo under Portfolio and share a text or a video of what you think the theme is. Have a wonderful day.